Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. This is a video I personally never thought I'd be making where the United States president is literally going and stepping on in and trying to go help us all go get our consoles, the PlayStation 5s, the Xboxes, and even also the RTX cards, all those really high-end GPUs as well. I never to this day thought I would ever be making this video. So if any video out there of all times deserves a like or subscribe, this one's probably one of these. This is probably gonna be the peak of all the PlayStation 5 restocking videos and rumors and everything going on. As you guys probably know, I'm more of a restock channel, so I'm trying to help everyone find their consoles and all of that. So we cover all the news that's going on. And as of today, Mr. Joe Biden even made a statement specifically for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and as I mentioned, a lot of the AMD and semiconductor issues that have been going on throughout these past few months that we've covered up on this channel. So this one's going to be a good one. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And let me get the usual dumb YouTube seller stuff out of the way. No one, if you ever do it, then people usually do it. So I hope you guys never mind. You guys can always fast forward if you guys want. But if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys subscribe. We are giving away a PS5 or pop on the notifications if you guys like Sony news, gaming news, PS5 restock news, or whatever. Leave a like if you guys enjoy these types of videos. We always have the Twitter and Twitch stream linked down below if you guys ever want to follow and say hi up in there. We do have the Amazon link for you guys to check on the PS5 for warehouse sales or anything of the sort. And of course, Weeble, sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money and Coinbase, you guys buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin, always linked down below. Sorry about that. I, I, feel, I feel like YouTubers always have to do it. Same with my ads. If I ever have ads in my videos, they go to my mom. So I hope you guys never mind. So like I said, this video is more so based on the fact that Joe Biden and the Joe Biden administration are now investigating issues when it comes to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. We have a few articles. One's more on like the fun kind of gaming side and one more is on the serious side. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And once again, I never would have thought I'd be talking at the, the start of this PlayStation 5 restock stuff about Joe Biden helping us on out, trying to get our consoles. I'm not too political. I just feel like it's kind of crazy that a president's also getting involved and it's affecting us just to try to go get a console. So we're going to start with this article over here. Both the articles will be linked down below to as well. But this one's over from uh, comicbook.com, basically stating that Joe Biden is investigating the PS5 and the Xbox Series X stock issues. Since the PS5 and Xbox Series X first went up for pre-order last September, they've been impossible to buy. And I think a lot of you guys probably know, even though we have actually seen a lot of people get consoles all throughout today, which is awesome. Major congrats to you guys, especially the former. And this has been partially because of the component shortages. Right now, there's a severe semiconductor shortage, which we've covered up on the channel, which also even affects cars and other things, iPhone phones like Logitech, webcams, whatever, it's affecting everyone as of now, especially in the pandemic. Not only are multiple big companies competing over parts, but the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed production, which is very true. A lot of companies are basically running at 100% production, which is hard to kind of compete against. And of course, the shortage is impacting more than just gaming, and now it's caught the attention of the White House. I still cannot believe these words are coming out of my mouth. Joe Biden and his team have confirmed they are launching an investigation into the problem, which will include a 100-day review of the production of semiconductors. According to Biden and co., the investigation is looking to more than just identify the issue, but find a solution and alternatives for American companies suffering from the shortages. Literally, Joe Biden might save the day when it comes to PlayStation 5 and Xbox X and even GPU restocking issues this is like i can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth semiconductors play a critical role in enabling the products and services that fuel our economy contribute to american innovation and enhance our national security and also lets like little jim go and play video games for eight hours a day when he should be working <laughs> set a joint statement from companies like apple amd and sony in case you guys are curious amd is actually the company themselves that literally makes the internal components for the xbox series x uh cpus gpus as well as stuff for the actual sony products themselves like the ps5 and of course you guys know sony Sony, Sony, and all that. Uh, Apple does have a play in part of this because it also does affect up phones as well. Addressing the president about the growing issue. Given the central role of semiconductors, strengthening the U.S. position in semiconductor research, design, and manufacturing is a national priority. So now we have we have literally companies saying the PlayStation 5 is a national priority. I'm joking a little bit, but like this entire thing is so silly. For now, it remains to be seen what will come from this review and investigation and whether or not it will help PlayStation and Xbox customers get their hands on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. If I had to go give and take my say, I'd probably say it would affect it somewhat more so if we could have actually have either better tariffs or also better uh like maybe more so 
like say Chinese relations where we have a chance to go and maybe get them on like a more prioritized basis to go and put that towards gaming consoles etc even cars there's always a small chance if we do have better trade communication just so we can have more of a priority but in terms of maybe short term if it's all just domestic so like stuff just in America uh, it probably won't affect stuff too much because it would take a little bit of time to get that actually up and rolling uh starting research maybe opening opening up factories etc so it could kind of go either way we'll definitely want to keep on following up this news for now it remains to see what comes with this review investigation while many expected the ps5 and xbox series x to be easier to obtain in 2021 Funny enough, I think it's been slightly easier, but as you guys probably know, a lot of my subscribers of the channel, it is a little bit still hard. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. This hasn't happened, and it won't be until both the manu uh, they can be manufactured faster, and this will happen as long as there's such a drastic shortage in semiconductors. So basically, as you guys can probably go and tell from all this stuff, we've been seeing this. We do have another article going on over here, too, as well, from CNET, which I want more, a little bit more in detail as well. So I want to cover this one up, too, as well, and kind of give my thoughts afterwards. And also, thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you guys. President Joe Biden, on Wednesday, signed an executive order intended to improve the supply chain for semiconductor chips and other critical resources so very good what we just kind of touch on the order launches a 100 day review of supply chains across four key industries in semiconductors critical minerals pharmaceuticals and large capacity batteries for electric vehicles the review aims to identify near-term uh, steps the administration can take including working with lawmakers in congress to mitigate supply chain risks according to the white house so basically kind of what we we're saying before is they're trying their best more sort of fi find and find solutions for all these issues such as semiconductors which do affect the consoles very very heavily we need to make sure these supply chains are secure and reliable, which as of right now, they have not been. I'm sure you guys can see on how hard it is just to go get a console, let alone anything else. It's kind of hard. Biden said, adding that semiconductor chips power everything from cars to phones to medical devices. Uh, the U.S. has uh, felt the impact of global chip shortages with some automakers reportedly halting production in the U.S. due to lack of chips to uh, that help control everything from engines to airbags. So basically kind of goes back to Sony where Sony's having a lot of issues keeping up pr with production because they just need specific parts to make all their stuff work. The chip shortage also contributed to stock issues for electronics, including for the new Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 both of which have been sold out in the U.S. and globally. As we've been saying, <laughs> the White House also highlighted the shortage of personal productive equipment and for frontline healthcare workers at the start of the coronavirus pandemic. The order also calls for a longer, more in-depth review of the broader range of supply chains that are critical for the U.S., including the defense, public health, and energy sectors. Biden went with the bipartisan group. If you guys don't know bipartisan, it's basically just like in the middle group of lawmakers Wednesday afternoon to discuss this U.S. supply chain before signing the executive order. This is a critical area where Republicans and Democrats agree, Biden said. So let me kind of give you guys my overall thoughts because I feel like there's a lot to kind of go and put on in here just in general. So as we've kind of been following up this news throughout these past few weeks when it comes to, you know, PS5 supply shortages, Xbox supply shortages, a lot of it kind of keeps on coming down to these semiconductors we keep on mentioning. We've mentioned this on the channel before as well. So as you guys know, like when the president say to what I'm saying at least you guys know at least i'm somewhat at least i have somewhat of a brain up in here a little bit just a little bit but when it comes to this stuff that is just the main issue we just don't like as we kind of discussed like all this news before the semiconductors are like basically at like 105 percent production capability they're going as hard as they can they cannot physically make more unless more factories are made for it or dedicated for it and with all the other supply chain issues going on that's just not going to happen. So what, it, what does this kind of mean for the PlayStation 5 restock and stock in general? Now, number one, I kind of touched on this before. It could be very good if we can somehow use this to leverage into a few different things. As of right now, we have a 25% tariff on a lot of electronic parts coming from China or whatever. This would be a very nice talking point for Joe Biden to go and maybe be like, hey, Let's go and calm this on down. Let's maybe go and like try to lower these numbers up. Let's try to work out a trade deal, which would be good for the economy, but also very good for all these actual companies because they can actually maybe hire more people working overtime or maybe try to go and invest more or overall just make it a little bit easier for the profitability when it comes to all these consoles. As of right now, I think we know that Sony is maybe selling those consoles at a loss. If you guys ever want an actual in-depth video like that, I would gladly go and make it. But as of right now, they're losing a lot of money as well when it comes to production, as a lot of you guys probably know, it's really, really hard to go and get all this stuff actually coming on out. These uh, when it comes to all these semiconductors, everything uses it. Like I mentioned, cars even use it. iPhones use it. Office supplies like webcams, 
use it. When it comes to computer parts, they use it. When it comes to consoles, they use it. And with everyone kind of locked up all the time, we want to go and, well, have our technology, use our technology, or get the new technology because we're all bored. So when it comes to this stuff, it's just there's such a high demand for all of this that is so insanely hard to go and meet. So what does this kind of mean? So as I mentioned, we can maybe use this to go and leverage with other different companies if Joe Biden wants to push for it. Uh, more so when it comes to other actual like maybe regions, when it comes to maybe talk with like Japan, maybe talk with Europe, maybe talk with, I don't know, wherever else, maybe China. And that may actually help up some more trade deals that could either have us have more of a higher priority in semiconductors or just have a chance to maybe make more profit off of it. So maybe Sony would want to even put in more hours to go make more consoles if they're making more money off every console. As well, I'm sure Sony and all these places, AMD, are making as much as they can, as fast as they can. But the major issue, too, as well, is like we have to go compete with all these other actual important things, such as even cars, medical stuff, etc. Which, in my opinion, I do kind of think kind of take the priority a little bit over a gaming console, more so on the medical side. So it is kind of a hard situation to be in, but it is very nice to go and see that someone like Joe Biden and up in the presidents and also Congress are literally addressing the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X restock, which I still cannot believe that I'm making this, that I literally made this video and we're going to be talking about this, that Joe Biden, the literal president, is worried about our, I mean, not necessarily fully about the PlayStations, but you guys know what I mean, like metaphorically. It. I would never would have thought we'd be making this video or having this discussion. I... I'm kind of somewhat speechless. So <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts down below for sure for this video. I think overall, this is very good. Uh, short term, it may not change stuff too, too much. As of now, you can't necessarily go and change production and supply chain stuff too quickly. It does take a lot of effort and it also is a lot of, well, work to go and do that, to make new factories, to make new trade deals, to have more actual like stuff in transit coming, coming and going, working with tariff deals. It is a long process, especially if Congress and the government is involved, but it is very, very nice to see that we may be trying to go work in some internal actual resolutions, whether it's more research, whether it's uh, more actual production locally, like domestically in the United States, or any of this sort. Like it's very, very intriguing seeing this overall. And it's also, like I mentioned, very, very nuts that, well, Joe, we're really talking about Joe Biden, talking about PlayStation 5s. I do think overall it is a bit, pretty big major issue because semiconductors are pretty much in literally everything. Like, it's in a lot of different things, especially with how uh, intertwined we are with tech. But it's also very insane just to kind of go and see that, well... All this is going on. This is, I don't even know what to even say. This is crazy. So as per usual, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. I think it's good that they're addressing issues and may still take a while for them to resolve. And we saw some more still kind of up to AMD as well as Sony and Microsoft to fix these issues and uh, fix these supply chain issues. But I'm sure as of now, they're doing the best they possibly can. And it's also very nice knowing that actually even government is like, hey, there's an issue. Let's try to fix it and solve it. Uh, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Very fun stuff to talk about. Very intriguing stuff to talk about. And one more time, I never would have thought I would have been talking about this in general. As per usual, we do have all of our sellout links linked down below as well. For the Amazon link with the PS5. Subscribe for the PS5 giveaway as well and pop on the notifications. If you guys would like, leave a like on the video. Comment down below your thoughts. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream. Would love if you followed up on either or or dropped a Prime sub up on the Twitch channel. We also have the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100 and you guys go and get free stock and free money. Even put that towards a future PS5 game or whatever. And of course, also Coinbase. Buy $100 with any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin as well. Always linked down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much for existing. You guys are all fantastic. Have a good rest of your days. Good rest of your nights. We'll have some more restock news as well throughout the day. And hope you guys enjoyed this video in the first place. I'll see you guys all soon. Have a good rest of your nights. And I'll hopefully have a good rest of your day. Love you guys.